Are evangelical Christians as united as they once were? This is a generational issue. And there are members of the religious right, older members, and they're like standing in the river of the evangelical mainstream and the water's flowing by them. Their hands are up in the air, they're saying, stop, stop, stop. There are only two moral values issues. But a whole generation says, no, there are more than two moral values issues. There's Darfur, there's global poverty, there's climate change, there's human trafficking. These are all sanctity of life issues. So I think they've lost control of the agenda, and a new generation is defining a new agenda. Do you believe that evangelical Christians are still the domain of the GOP? No. I think uh, things are changing dramatically. Uh, they're up for grabs. Their votes are in play now. A whole new generation is not going to vote. on God is not a Republican or a Democrat. And people of faith shouldn't be in any party's political pocket. We should be the ultimate swing vote. We should evaluate both sides by our moral compass. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. never endorsed a candidate. He made them endorse his agenda. That's how we should operate. We've got Democratic candidates who talk comfortably about their faith authentically, and they connect it to poverty and criminal justice and the war in Iraq. Republicans, some are comfortable in their faith and some are not. Uh, and so that levels, as Time Magazine says, levels the praying field, and that's a good thing. So now we have a, a level praying field, plus we have a change in the agenda of a new generation of evangelicals. The agenda is now wider and deeper. I hear young evangelicals, some of whom were working last time for James Dobson, recruited by Karl Rove to bring out the Republican vote, who now tell me if they keep making us only care about two issues, they're going to lose our entire generation. Are you suggesting that more evangelical Christians in this country may vote Democratic this go-round? Well, that happened last time, 2006. The numbers show that particularly in places where there was religious outreach from both parties, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, evangelical and Catholic voting trends changed and began to cross over. Uh, many are more independent, actually, now than Republican or Democrat. And that's probably the place they're most comfortable, to look at both sides kind of issue by issue and see who most speaks to their own moral compass.